3D printing has been advancing technology for the last 10 years, and now local educators are bringing that technology into their classrooms. KPVI News That Works For You reporter Paul Bean visited ISU today to get a preview on the Idaho STEM Action Center's Fab Slam. The whirring of 3D printers echoed through the halls of Earns Complex at ISU as representatives from 14 different organizations learn the ins and outs of a printing technique that has bridged the gap between several fields of work. Getting into all the different fields from medical now, so they're printing skin and cells, um, to of course advanced machining and manufacturing where they're uh, developing really intricate parts for you know, for all types of machines. The and course teaches the actually... educators who then in turn teach their students about how the technology works. The students will then compete in a fabrication student learning apprenticeship model, or Fab Slam, a competition that not only teaches 3D printing, but other life skills. The, the most exciting part is for them to have an opportunity to learn something in a way that they can mentor other students rather than always being the mentees. So uh, just the opportunity to incorporate STEM into language acquisition as well as outreach to other um, programs and other content areas is pretty exciting. Not all the educators in the program are STEM teachers. Representatives from libraries and the teachers of other subjects were invited as well, including one from the Twin Falls School District that mainly works with refugee students by teaching them English. But we definitely need to focus our curriculum and focus our students on some of those core strategies for learning so that they can take them across any field in any career that they go into. So just because they're studying engineering doesn't mean that they're going to be an engineer, but those problem solving and design processes that they're going through are going to help them no matter what job they decide to go into. Reporting from Pocatello, I'm Paul. Now the Fab Slam competition doesn't take place until February where the students of these educators will come back to ISU and present products that they've made using the 3D printing skills that they've learned.